Welcome back. There's a student at Pacific Ridge School in Carlsbad certainly making a difference on a young girl who's all the way in the Philippines, all thanks to 3D printing. And she's joining us this morning. Isabella, good morning. Good to see you. Good morning. Uh, this is incredible what you've come up with. This picture right here says it all, right? Yeah. Tell us what you did for Ellie. So basically, I had so many opportunities at my school because we have a newly built Science and Innovation Center. Nice. So I was thinking about what I could do with my passions with science mm -hmm. and how I could incorporate that with the opportunities at my school. So I decided with a, a company called Enable to make these prosthetics for Ellie. Okay, so this is a prosthetic arm for her. Yes. And she's a six-year-old in the Philippines. Yes. How did you even know about her and know that she needed this help? So through Enable, they have a portal where you are, where they connect 3D printing okay. makers with um, recipients. Gotcha. So through that, I found Ellie and we were just like the perfect match. It worked oh. really well together. So that's when I knew. That um, she was the perfect recipient. This is awesome. You're yeah. 16 years old, and yes. you changed her life so much. What was her reaction when she got the prosthetic? I mean, she needed this arm, right? Yeah, her mom tells me that it like brought a new form of confidence for her, oh. and that it was something she was really looking forward to because she's never really been able to use her arm and this is something she was so excited to yeah. show off her new gadget to all of her friends yeah. so super excited and now she can like grab things and do what we all may take for granted I exactly mean, it's something new that she can experience life the way we do and it's thanks yes. to your work <laughs> yeah it's really rewarding to have that so yeah. I'm super excited this is incredible so tell us about your school Pacific Ridge uh, because I don't hear about 16 year olds being able to do things like this very often and so it sounds like there's, uh, you know, a place, this is a place where you've been able to learn and thrive and do a lot of great work. Yeah, I had so many opportunities with the school and yeah. I have so many great teachers who helped guided me. My teacher, Mr. Pashkow, taught me, I didn't know really much about 3D printing okay. at all. And the school had so many new printers, so he taught me so much about wow. how it worked. And then also YouTube was one of my best <laughs> friends to learn what how to make the stuff mm -hmm. and how to use the printer. So it was really nice to have all those opportunities and so much support from people around. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I'll tell you, Isabella, I've only used printers here at the station <laughs> and they print out paper and that's all I know. <laughs> uh, so I'm curious how, what it takes to print out an arm or anything larger in 3D style. There's a lot of computer programming or what is it yeah. that you had to learn? So with Enable, I had all the files, which was really nice. Okay. All we really had to do was adjust the sizing and do a couple adjustments for her hand specifically. Okay. But then other than that, um, I did all that type of stuff. And then I just kind of used YouTube and the people <laughs> I know to help learn how to work it. Yeah. This yeah. is so incredible and uh, I could imagine your future is going to be bright <laughs> as you continue with your good work. Uh, what, what do you aspire to do one day? What are your goals? I know it's still early in life. Yeah. You don't have to have a set decision but what are you um, hoping for? I'm hoping I just loved with this project I learned how much I love helping other people yeah. and using my passions to yeah. make a difference so I think that's what really helped me. Hopefully I do something in the medical science field in the future. So yeah, and I'm really That's excited because also um, I'm starting a service learning club at my school. Nice. So I'll be able to have other students learn how to make prosthesis and hopefully make more prosthetics for people all around the world That's to make a difference. That's incredible. Okay, so yeah. other students can then follow in your footsteps, exactly. right? Exactly, and learn. Hopefully I can help teach them and we can <laughs> all work together to try to find more recipients yeah. and make more. And hopefully we'll be making the other arm for Ellie too. Okay, so oh, because yeah, she it, it's a birth defect that yes, she had? Yes, yeah, okay. she has arthrogryposis. Gotcha, yes. okay. And yeah, I mean, there's other kids like Ellie all around the world, mm -hmm. uh, legs, arms, whatever it is. And the fact that 3D technology can provide, you know, body parts, exactly. I mean, that, that's shocking to me. I think mm -hmm. that's so cool that we live in a time where that technology is available. And so low cost too. Is it? Compared okay. to like a real prosthetic, it's so much cheaper to make and so much more accessible for mm -hmm. other people to make as well. Okay, yeah. so now other students can be part of your club. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> that's so great. And you're mm -hmm. still at the school for a couple more years, right? Yes, I okay. have my senior year and hopefully I'm excited to make this club now so that I can leave the legacy and yeah. students can continue to do it even when I'm gone. Isabella, beautiful work. Thank you for being here to show us uh, what you, you did. Uh, your heart is in such a good place and it's wonderful to see students uh, wanting to help out other people. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome. And yeah, I, I feel like we're gonna see more of you uh, in the future as you continue on with that great work.